Welcome to your Pilates workout. I'm Marcia, and I'm gonna take you through a basic Pilates foundation workout. So you're really gonna use the mind-muscle connection. We're gonna pull our belly button to the spine, and it's all about building a strong core. The movements are gonna be slow. I want you to breathe through them, and let's begin. All you will need is your mat and your body. So we're gonna to sit to the side, and we're just gonna practice sitting tall. And when you sit tall, you want to make sure that you are on your sits bones. And you can feel the little bones in your butt that are hitting the ground on the mat. So you want to make sure you feel them. Now, if you're sitting like this, you might need to lift your glutes up by putting on maybe a blanket or some type of yoga block so that it feels more comfortable to sit. The goal is to practice sitting up straight and you want to breathe. So you're going to take your hands. Put it behind your knees, and we're just going to practice, if we can, sitting up as straight as we can, breathing in and breathing out. The goal with Pilates is to make sure you have a strong core. This is your foundation, whether you're sitting down or standing up, and you have that strength and good posture. So we're going to sit here, we're going to inhale and exhale and now we're going to roll back so wherever you are make sure you have just a little bit of room you can go towards the end of your mat and we're going to practicing going down scooping it belly button to the spine inhaling and exhaling with the scoop and then we're going to bring it back up straight posture and let's practice that again so we're going to bring it down we're going to scoop and we're going to bring it back up here we go hands behind the knees scoop inhale and then exhale bring it back up we're going to do this one more time just your arm, your hands will be touching a little bit as far as you can go down. And we're going to scoop it back up. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing. Instead of holding behind our, our knees, we're going to take our arms out. Now if you feel like you still need to hold on, go ahead and do that. Because I know the hip flexors can be tight and sore. So you may still need that strength until you build it up. Or you may need that support until you build up strength. So we're just going to take our hands out long, and you're going to bring them down, scooping the belly button down, just right here, activating the core and the hip flexors, and you're going to roll back up. Good. We're going to do that again. So breathing in, you're going to inhale, coming down, and exhale, come up. All right, you've got another one in you, so breathe it in. And hold, and breathe it out. And up. The whole point of Pilates is having a flexible spine, so we're always going to work on spine work to strengthen that. So we're going to take it down to the ground, and again, a really nice way to do that is kind of roll down slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Make sure it's slow and controlled. And then you want to make sure that you bring your arms up, okay? The focus here is on your scapula. Take note of your body. How does it feel on the mat? Make sure your feet are down, touching the mat. Arms are above, touching the sky. And what we're going to do is take our scapula, this is on, our, on the back, of course, and we're going to lift it up and then we're going to release it flat on the back of the mat. Again, slow movement. Bring it up, touch the sky, and release and pinch on the back. Good. We're going to do this again. A few more. Up and release. You're really going to, when you re release, you're actually going to squeeze it back onto the mat, not just relax your hands and your arms. So just make sure you have strong arms, 
touch your scapula to the back of the mat and bring it off to stretch and relax. Stretch and contract. Good. Bringing it up. Bringing it up and down. And then we're going to take our arms out wide. Bring our feet in. And we're actually going to bring our knees together, feet together. Bring your heels a little bit towards your butt. And then we're going to swing from the left to the right. Now we're just going to open up the hips, stretching out the pelvic area so we can strengthen it. I just love this type of stretch from left to right, loosening up the pelvic area and the hips. So we're going to come back up. So we're going to get on our elbows, push ourselves up, and then we are going to do an L sit and rotate. So make sure your body's like an L. You're sitting like this. If this is too much, and it, this is painful to sit. Just make sure you're sitting on a blanket or a yoga mat. I mean, fold it up a couple times or a yoga block. And you just want to sit down. We're going to take our hands, put it behind our head, and then we're going to rotate. Make sure feet are strong. You're going to flex the feet. And you're going to rotate to one side. Open the squeeze like a fillet. And look forward and stretch it to the other side. Release, rotate, and hold. Back to the center and to the other side. There we go. One more time. Open, rotate. Back to center. Other side. Back to center and release. Okay, so we're gonna take it down to the side and do some Pilates leg work. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually get on your side. You can either lay down on your bicep or you can get on your hand like this. You wanna make sure to keep your core tight, extend the leg, and then you want to flex your foot and point. Flex and point. Good. In Pilates, you work the entire body. So we're going to use everything from the hands, the wrist, the arms, the core, hip flexors and pelvic, legs and feet. So point and flex, point and flex. Good. Now we're going to rotate that. We're going to open and release. Open with a nice twist release. It's a very small movement, but we're opening up our hip flexor and we're feeling that in our quads. I can feel the glute squeeze. And these are small movements. These small movements help you build a strong body. A lot of times these small movements are very, they're discounted. People are like, oh, that doesn't work. But when you're able to do these exercises effectively, you're able to do the large muscle groups more effectively and you're actually stronger. Good, rotate it in. Now you're going to take that top leg, put it forward. We're going to do the inner thigh. In Pilates, you always make sure if you do one side, you do the other and you do the opposing muscle groups. So we just did the outer thigh on one leg. We're gonna do the inner thigh on the other. So we're gonna flex our foot and squeeze release, squeeze, release. Keeping the core tight. Thinking about slow movements, but you're really feeling the contraction. Good. Sometimes these smaller movements are more painful than the larger ones. Like when you're throwing those weights at the gym, 
doing those heavy lunges or squats, they almost seem easier than doing a small, tiny movement. Two more. And last one, release. Since we did one side, we are going to do the other. Get comfortably on your side. And remember, we're going to flex the foot, point the toe, flex the foot, point the toe. We're going to do this for a few times. Always making sure you're not holding your breath, but we are aligned with our breath. It's about strengthening the spine, but also having flexibility in the spine. And everything is connected to the spine. So point and flex. Point and flex. Good. Now we're going to rotate it and release. Rotate the toes and release. So you should feel a nice squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Make sure you take time to inhale and exhale. Good. There's a lot of breath work in Pilates. We just want to make sure we're connected to our body and we feel strong. Release. Open. Release. Good. We're going to bring it down and over. Let's get the inner thigh. Let's flex the foot. Bring it up and squeeze and release. Keeping the core tight. Up, squeeze, release. Up, squeeze, release. Good, nice contraction. Utilizing all those muscles in the inner thigh. Good. Pilates, it's more about the body weight. So we're focusing on body strength, not so much how much can we lift on by pounds, but can we lift your own body? Good. Now we're going to take it up, and we're just going to sit forward. We're going to open our legs, and we're actually going to bring our arms overhead and you're going to face one side and we're going to open up and scissor all the way down. Open up, scissor on the way. Good. Open up, opposite arm, opposite leg. Try to get in that L sit as perfect as you can. Good. I can feel tight hip flexors in my case. This will help open them. Couple more. And good. Okay, so we're going to bring our legs in and we're actually going to go on our front of the mat and we're going to do a Pilates Superman. It's kind of comparable to Cobra. So we're going to lay down, we'll look at the floor, relax our bodies, get a comfortable position where our hands are going to face down, our elbows are to our side. And what we're going to do is just lift your scapula just a little bit and release. Pointing the toes, they can be together or just a little bit of a part, hands touching the ground. Don't take your hands to lift off. We're actually going to use our scapula and our back to bring it back, just like this. It's just a tiny movement, so none of this flailing off. So just remember, just really small, our hands are still touching, and release. Up, good. Strong back, release, bringing it back. Last one, and release. 
All right, so we're going to go on all fours, and we're going to do cat and cow. In Pilates, we call it spine flexion and extension. So we're going to look up at the sky, stretch it out, and then we're going to squeeze, scoop it in, belly button to the spine, make sure that belly is really tight, and release. So I want you guys to inhale, and exhale. Getting that deep stretch. Good. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to do this two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Remember, Pilates is about having a strong core, but a flexible spine. So that's what we're trying to do, and these small movements help build that and build strength in your body, okay? So now what we're going to do, since we're on all fours, we're going to point your toe, okay? And then we're just gonna take that toe long, point it all the way back, and then squeeze as hard as you can squeeze, and then relax and touch the ground. Relax with control, and then you're gonna bring it up. Squeeze your glute, squeeze your hamstring, squeeze your quad, squeeze everything your leg has, point that toe, and then you're going to release. Good job. Up and point, and squeeze. Focus on using all those muscles in the body. Squeeze the leg long. Release. One more time. Up and squeeze. Good job. And release. Scoop it back in. We're going to do the other side. Here we go. Point the toe. Bring it up. Squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. Bring it up and squeeze. Give it all you got. You're squeezing very long from the glutes. You're squeezing your hamstrings, your quads, back of the leg, front of the leg, contracting and release. One more time. Bring it up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. Good, we're gonna bring our legs forward. We're gonna have a seat and we're gonna bring our legs in front of us and we're gonna stretch out our wrists. These are one of those things that we do not do often. We're on our phones, we're on the computers. Now we need a stretch. So you're gonna take your hands like this and you're going to take your fingers long and you're gonna push it back. Right there, that's all you need. I can feel this in the wrist. Feel it strong. You can always come forward if you need to a little bit. But if not, you're gonna sit strong on your sits bones, bring your wrist back, push it back, and you can feel that stretch. So holding here, good. Inhale, exhale, good. Let's shake it out a second. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a rolling tuck. We're gonna tuck, so we're gonna roll our body to us. We're gonna tuck it in. And we're just going to slowly bring it up and to bring our toes touch the ground tuck our bodies in knees to the chest just like this holding it strong and as much as you can go you can bring it like this wrap around if you want to i feel like you get a little better control if you squeeze it like this Woo. good we're gonna roll it back. So make sure you have enough room where you can just slightly roll back. The toes are gonna to touch the floor. And we're gonna roll and up. Tap the toes. Roll and up. Your spine is going to hit every vertebrae. 
So make sure it's really rolled, kind of like a turtle, and up, and tap. Roll, and up. Good. So we're just gonna bring it back, and then we're gonna go all the way back. So remember our hands behind, so when you come down, come down slowly, okay? Belly button to the spine, and you're gonna get into a position where we're going to bring a our legs into tabletop. So just like this, take note how your body is feeling. Make sure your hips, your knees and your hips are all aligned. And what you're going to do is keep your hands on the ground for stability. And you're going to take a toe. Everything's bent at 90 degree. And you're going to tap. Bring it up. Tap the other side. And up. So we're really using our core. Remember, belly button to the spine. The focus is the core and these very slow movements of tapping the toe, bringing it back to a 90 degree, tapping the toe. We're gonna to stay right here. We're gonna do one side for five reps. Here we go. And tap, up, tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, Tap, five. Other side, you got this. Tap, up. Tap, two. Tap, three. Tap, four. Tap, five. Good. Bring them both down. And now what I want you to do is take your knees to your chest. Stretch it out. Bring it in. Good. Ooh, definitely needing this. Now we're going to take our hands, put them on our knees, and our toes will touch, and we're gonna circle in and out. Make sure we're inhaling and exhaling. And then we're gonna rotate whatever side that we did. We're gonna go the other way. Rotating it in. Good. You're gonna relax it down. And you're gonna go back to your leg swings. So you're gonna have your feet together. And you're gonna rotate it one way and rotate it another way. Slow and controlled, these aren't meant to be fast. Really taking your time to feel that stretch, but yet you're doing that flexibility so you can feel mobility. Keeping the toes pointed, so point the toes and stretch. And whichever way your knees go, make sure your head goes in the opposite way. And stretch. Bringing it in, and we'll bring it up. One more little hug to the knees. Bring your face to your knees. And release. We're gonna scoop it back up. A couple deep breaths here. We're gonna sit tall. Breathing in and out. Taking note how you feel today. Paris is having us breathe. Breathe in. Thank you for joining me on today's Building a Foundation Pilates Style and I will see you on the next workout.